listen up rangers welcome to the geek chest my name's steve uh, wait wait i'm coming over my name is arne he's googling things in the corner over there anyways today in the center part review we have the godzilla the new empire battle war godzilla evolved from playmates main reason we picked this up man eh, we're kind of obligated to grab everything at this point yeah it's it's yeah I'm sad to say it. Hopefully this is a better Evolve version than we had with the regular Playmates release, because that one was kind of whatever. I don't know, look at that mouth, kind of looks the same to me. Because the problem with a lot of the Playmates Godzilla stuff, and especially the Legendary, is just, like, compared to some of the other offerings from the same waves, they usually don't have as much detail on them. Yeah. Like, it really fades away in a lot of the body parts. Especially the uh, torso region, which... This looks like... It's kind of got the same thing going on, but it's not as bad. Because, again, it's like, generally it's where these connecting pieces are. <laughs> is where you'll lose a lot of that fidelity. Just a little bit. And he's got more spaces. He's also got a... Does that button really need to be that big? Yes, it does. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for the packaging, it's same as what we got with the con. Oh, says you get the Godzilla Roars. Back up package. We got to find this guy. We need him in my I have life. Not seen him yet. I need him for streams. That's what I was Googling to see if he's out. If we get him, I'm probably keeping him. <laughs> yeah, we need just, him. Just as a heads up. Uh, some legal mumbo jumbo at the bottom, and we'll have to attach the tail. So, anyways, with these videos, if you guys didn't know, uh, these are unedited videos. Look up on our Patreon in advance if you guys like to help so support get you the get. channel and get to check out the stuff before everybody else. Make sure to follow the link in the description. Got it, Steve. Also, Discord attached to it. Holy crap. There's so many random things. Plus, with these videos, what's fun is you kind of get some unboxing. It's almost like an unboxing video and a review all in one. Which is sort of like what a lot of unboxing videos are, but we just name it differently. Hey, so Battle Roar Scar King is $19. What the hell? Is eBay's twenty nine. Where's it coming from? Oh yeah, well eBay, yeah, eBay overcharged. You're gonna be paying like upcharge prices on eBay. Which in for, stock United Kingdom, nineteen dollars plus thirty shipping. Ah, oh, get out of here. I was gonna say for something that we may or may not do a hammer video of, <laughs> I'm not paying extra for it. <laughs> no. Hate the break it's here. Oh, I do like the tail though. Uh, okay, it's already a lot better than the previous. I don't know what... It's got like a dimple in that one spine, though. Don't judge him. He's got a dimple in his butt cheek, Steve. So what? <sighs> All right. I think it's attached. Also, I'm going to probably break it. <laughs> See that contorting? Like, I can feel the joint flexing oh, in there. Oh, well, if you break it, I guess it's no big deal. He might get... It. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to go a hammer, but, like, that joint's, like, I have to forcefully bend that, and I just feel that joint just going with it. You can hear it. So, that's kind of scary for people that want to buy this and play with it. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe it's just not in all the way, but I'm pretty... No, it looks... well, it's definitely in. Yeah. So, this one is a little too tight, so I would be very, very afraid of that ripping but like i we just showed so far i'm not have like stress testing this thing hasn't broken yet so we got that going for us but kind of like what we had with the previous one where you got the translucent plastic for the upper spines lower spines is just painted although i like that they don't paint this part uh yeah i actually appreciate that because last time it looked like crap but it, then the color stopped, though. Yeah, it's okay. You give and take. <sighs> He's also got a thragmizer on the tail. No, that's the thing the dinosaurs have. That's oh what it's called, Not Arnest. Godzilla. It's what it's called. It's what it's called. No, it's not. Showing off the gimmick. It. It, it makes roary sounds. So I guess we'll uh, go over that next real quick. So it's got two sounds. It has Godzilla's roar. Classic. And then you get the Atomic Blast. Are you sure that's what that is? It just sounds like you blew a speaker in a car. Which is his Atomic Blast. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
what's kind of odd is they give you the blast effect, but no lights to go along with it. Did the last time they had lights? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, to be honest, I forgot how, like like we mentioned, they weren't good to begin with. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't quite remember. I don't think so. I think it was just the roar. So, I guess you got that. Again, I probably still would have liked this as a kid. I just don't... Like, for me, I think if we're going to have the beam effect, it either should have maybe came with the beam effect or maybe did some lights to Why would it have the sound effect but not the beam effect? Did they want you to buy both of them, use it off the other one? Does it have the peg in his mouth to fit it in there? No. Well, that because of the gimmick, you wouldn't really be able to... You lying sacks of crap. (laughs) Be able to do it anyways. So to be honest, I think it just would have because I think it was just two roars originally. And I almost would have preferred that if we would just have like a growl in the normal roar over the beam. I think personally, I think that would have worked a little bit better for me. Cause with the beam, it kind of instills having the lights or something to go along with. At it. least. But detail wise, it is an improvement over the original Playmates. Which I kind of wish I still had hanging out next to me. Yeah, I have no idea where that. Where the detailing on the body definitely stands out a little bit better, but again, you do lose quite a bit of detail in certain sections. The limbs look really good, though. And he's got the little spiky protrusion on the elbow. Legs look solid. He's definitely a lot leaner than some of the other gods. I don't know. And I how love how, like, over-exaggerated his top section is. Like, he almost kind of looks like those, like, Looney Tune muscle men. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about him being like his legs are so skinny. He's got some curves though too. I'm like, look at that. Oh, hey, thicker than a snicker right there. <laughs> Let me tell you about Hubba, it. Hubba, hubba, <laughs> Godzilla. We're horrible. It's just people. so you <laughs> fast. I'm surprised I haven't seen more people like gender bending Godzilla to human girls. <laughs> at least this one in particular. I feel like it's oh, like yeah. made for that. Like he's got look at those legs. Like he's got like that Jessica Rabbit kind of curve to him. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I'd be we down. don't hammer this one, Steve. The, <laughs> he wants to do something else. Well, you get the nails here are actually painted, which is something nice. And honestly, the paint job, I think, is solid. It's not bad. It's got some airbrushing. goes all yeah. majority ways down the tail. The spines don't bug me that much It the, with the transition. It's about what I'm expecting. Honestly, it's a little bit better. And you get, like I mentioned, some of the paint on the elbows. There's a little bit of paint missing there. But to kind it's of not bad. To kind of be expected though, because these are kind of packaged and sold to the elements. So yeah. it's easier for it to get scuffed in shipment and then people mess around on the shells. What have you. Its eyes are actually painted too. It's that yellow paint with some pupils. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's kind of like the con. Am I like blown away by it? No. Yeah. 15 bucks, you get some effects. It's definitely an improvement yeah. over the regular one for 10. So this is the one I would like, if you were going to buy one of these, so far, I would buy this over the regular one. Yeah, it's better, honestly. And it's only like three, four dollars more, that's it. Yeah, like for collectors, I would say just get the big ones. Because you're, generally speaking, always going to get better detail. It's got better shell presence. If you're spending the money, might as well get the bigger one. This one's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, articulation. Arms can go forward. Wait, wait, it's got some? <laughs> forward and back. Legs can go forward and back. Feet can rotate. Oddly, nothing at the hands. They give you feet pivot, but no hands. And then the tail, it's on a ball joint, so you can, like we mentioned... Kind of wiggle it around, you can rotate it. And then the mouth only works with the gimmick. I have no idea why there's two little circles here. Is that I was where just... speakers come out? No, the speaker's right there. And then the there battery is there. Up there. Oh, you know, it's probably for the screws. It's probably the hide the screws. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. I guess it kind of makes sense if you think about it that way. Yeah, but pretty sweet overall, and especially for kids. Like if you're got a younger, younger child into Godzilla's, definitely pretty sweet for them as well. Uh, probably let Casey mess around with this before it gets to the hammer videos. <laughs> oh, it'll be fun. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come around today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys, like you over the day with channel, donate greatly, would appreciate it. Also, 
if you guys like to pick up some guys' little stuff for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support the channel. Get yourself some cool toys. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.